something in the emerald down. Doesn't look that emerald at the moment, but hey ho, that's how it is for airport arrivals. And shortly I'm going to head down to Belfast because I'm too cheap to get a, a taxi across to Lamb. And then we'll, uh, we'll be seeing the delights of Lamb in Carrick Fergus. This is Lamb Town Centre, as well as the usual pawn shops and branches of the, the big uh, retailers. You've got a surprising number of old fashioned retail outlets, family firms, a lot of tea shops, a few wee pubs and, and uh, little bars tucked away as well. So if you're coming over, you obviously visit the range of supporters clubs, but have a wee dander down the town as well and pick up a bargain and get yourself your lunch. So here we are in the sunny town of Lamb, the ground at Inver Park here, it's I would say maybe 5-10 minutes walk from the uh, from the harbour and along the way there's, uh, well you can go through the, the town centre and there's a few pubs and clubs that you can have a wee look in. Um, as you can see here there's small murals designed by the local, the local primary schools and uh, there's a fair bit of work going on at Inver Park as we shall see hopefully in a few minutes. Uh, there's been an investment in the club by a gentleman who is involved with the Purple Bricks Company and that's obviously brought in a bit of uh, money to the town but it's also encouraged some rivalry from the local the local rivals just down the road there in Bally Clare so uh, we shall see how, how it's working out for them. So here we are at Inver Park, yeah, this is the, the new plastic pitch sanctioned by UEFA, that's the, the stand that can hold about 800 to 850, next to it there's a, there's a at present uncovered area which can hold about 700 fans and as we swing round this is us at the, uh, the dressing rooms and above there there's a new uh, players lounge hospitality area and just over to the left there, that's a, that's a wee uh, away area which can hold about 300, 400 people. Uh, there's a lot of work going to be done in the, the park in the next few months. So here we go, we're going to get a wee exclusive into the, the home dressing room. There's certain tactical things that I can't show you. However, I've been allowed in to have a, a wee gander at the home dressing room and into the away dressing room. So. Graham Martini's boys will be coming in here. The referee, as you see at the moment, uh, won't be going in there because there's all the accoutrements you need to run a, a football club are been stored. So come up here and we'll turn left. This is the home dressing room. Again, it is an area of work, so it's uh, it's been busy. There are the full the the men's team, the youth team, and the ladies team are based at the club. If I swing round, going to into the away dressing room, and to be honest, compared with a lot of uh, professional or semi-professional clubs, they've got uh, quite a nice wee setup. I mean, believe it or not, this is probably better appointed and more room than than very many clubs, even professional ones. So for Graham Murty and his crew, this is you guys. You can acquaint yourselves with the facilities that you'll be dealing with in Lamb. I'm just going to go outside again and we'll go up on the terraces and we'll have a wee chat with some of the folk at the club. But as you can see, it's a beautiful setting. Um, there is some space at the far end and round the sides. Before the new pitch went in, they had, I think, a, it was either a nine or 11 foot drop in the pitch, which you can see from the, the wall over on the right hand side, but that's been flattened out. And the setting of the club, it's nice, it's five or ten minute walk from the town centre. So here we are in the LAN Players Lounge and as you can see it's full of things that players like to do. Table tennis, there's a pool table and there's also a bar. So this will be where hospitality guests come if you take the, the match day package, not the package that's the full, uh, the full four courser up at uh, Masonic and this is the view you'll have. So I think it's well worth contemplating taking hospitality at, at Lamb for the, the Rangers game.